Canada is on fire, and there's nothing normal about it. Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Today I just want to talk a bit about the wildfire wave we're seeing in Western Canada right now, and what it means in relation to climate change. Now, wildfires are nothing new. They happen all over the world, and they happen often naturally. But much like many other natural phenomenon, they are being intensified and exacerbated by climate change. There's no doubt about it. And a lot of the media we've been seeing calling it smoke season or saying that, you know, these are just wildfires, but we don't know what's causing them. It's just dryness in a general passive sense. Those forms of journalism are not doing their due diligence. And they're not saying what really needs to be said. That climate change, our climate catastrophe, is literally causing the planet to burn. And this goes to what I talked about in that Bill Nye video I made a couple weeks ago, where Bill Nye said, look, the planet is literally on fire. And Alberta is, you know, ground zero for that right now, where we're seeing some fires that are triple the size of Edmonton, one of Canada's largest cities. At the end of the day, this is not normal. The wildfires are happening earlier in the year than they normally do. And they're longer, and they're bigger, and they're more frequent than they have ever been, and they likely will continue to get worse. Mike Flanagan, he's a professor who studies wildland fires out in Alberta, he basically said that, look, the history, the playbook we have to understand wildfires and what causes them and what they'll be like, we got to throw that out because we're in a new climate context than we've ever been because of climate change, because of the way we've operated as a society and as a species, we cannot rely on the knowledge we have had before about our wildfire context. There was a piece in the National Observer a few months ago, and it made the case that if anything should be the aha moment for climate change in our country, in Canada, it may not be floods, in some parts of the world it's floods, but in Canada, it should be forest fires because they are being so intensified by climate change that it's not even funny. It's not even funny. It'll continue to happen. People's homes will continue to be destroyed. Economies will continue to be destroyed. It'll have major effects on the climate and on the air quality within some of Canada's biggest cities. And there's nothing we can do to stop it short of addressing the climate crisis head on. And media who will report on the devastation and the fire and the effects of that fire and devastation who and who yet don't go into the fact that this is being caused by and intensified by climate change. Those sources are in a sense doing a form of journalistic malfeasance or malpractice because they're not actually giving readers the full context. It's not just enough to show a picture of Edmonton and it literally looks like Fallout 4 near the nuclear drop point. Like, there's no, there's no need to just show that. And then you don't go into, well, what's causing this wildfire? What's making this wildfire so early in the, the, you know, the typical wildfire season so, so, so prominent? And why are we calling this quote-unquote smoke season? This isn't quote-unquote smoke season. This is a climate disaster, and this is a natural disaster caused by this. And so many people on social media, they're right to note that the media, the public, our governments, we have a responsibility to look at these wildfires and see them for what they are. They are a literal warning flare to all of us about how if we don't change how we relate to the carbonization of our economy, we will continue to burn. And we could talk about the solutions day and night, but ultimately the only one that will bring the change we need and with justice in mind is a Green New Deal. And I've talked about a Green New Deal in my other videos, a deal that not only decarbonizes our economy, that empowers working people during that decarbonization process. Where we don't say jobs and the environment and go at it to pick which one wins. We say jobs and the environment because we're going to tax the rich to fund the research and infrastructure programs we need and we're going to radically change our economy. Because if we don't, we will continue to see intensified and frequent and year-long wildfires. You know, as the climate continues to warm, there will be more and more months in which wildfires are possible and likely. The only way we can mitigate it and ultimately reverse it over the long term is by decarbonizing our economy. And we have to take that leap quickly. So don't let people normalize this.
when you see news media and politicians talk about the wildfire and send their thoughts and prayers to the victims and the displaced and the and all the people who are or, or, who are affected let them know that if they really want to do justice with all those who have suffered those who die those who are misplaced they need to find pragmatic and immediate political solutions to our climate crisis because until that happens all they're doing is twiddling their thumbs while Canada burns like their goddamn Nero in the Roman Empire. This is, this is, I'm, I'm not trying to be, you know, exaggerative here, but the reality is that our leaders, our intellectual and economic and political leaders, are not doing enough to address the crisis. And they're not giving the context Canadians need to understand it. So when you see someone talk about smoke season, like it's some kind of rib festival, and when you see someone talk about how this is just part of the, the, the seasonal rhythm of things, not understanding that in relation to history, the wildfires are more intense than they've ever been. There's been more than there have ever been. They're coming earlier than they've ever been. And when they don't understand that these wildfires could even double or quadruple in intensity and frequency over the next coming short-term period, punish them at the polls and punish them with on social media when they refuse to acknowledge these facts. The status quo cannot hold. It's either climate disaster or a Green New Deal that works for the vast majority of people. We have a choice as a society and we have to make the correct choice. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It'll really help spread the message and let people know that what we're seeing in Canada in regards to fires is not normal. It's historic and it's being driven by climate change. People need to understand this because when they can make that connection, there's a hope that more and more people will realize that global warming is not just, you know, a scientific concept and it's not just something affecting people in different countries, but it's hitting us here at home in ways that we can feel. And if you can, I would appreciate your support on Patreon. Supporting me there helps to bring greater quality and quantity of videos and it'll help me spread a message that is progressive and that recognizes climate crises on YouTube, which will hopefully help to further that narrative in mainstream spaces. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.